introducing to you here at the Central Florida Zoo and Botanical Gardens. My name is Michelle and I'm a bird keeper here at the zoo. Now we are in our Africa exhibit. You guys might know it. It's going to be the first exhibit that you see when you walk into our zoo. We do have our pond running, so let us know in the comments if it's kind of hard to hear me throughout me talking. But in this exhibit, it is a mixed species and we have three different African birds. One is right above my head here. But within this exhibit, it's really cool to see them cohabitating together, living in the same space. But it's also cool to see how they take up the space within their habitat. Now, this is a very long, you can see all the way to the back there, and a very tall exhibit, so they do have many places where they can choose to take up their time. Now, I do want to start off at the ground level, even though he wants to take all the attention for himself. We're going to start down low, and that's where I'm going to introduce you to our Cape Thickney, or they're also known as a Spotted Dicka. Now, she is kind of at the back. They are more of a nocturnal bird, so she does spend most of her day resting, but sometimes she ends up moving around, and I think we are gonna take it all the way to that back corner there. She is resting right now, but even though we're gonna get really close with the camera, it is really hard to see them because they have excellent camera So you can see her walking around there. So they do spend most of their time down on the ground and they do have spotted feathers and that's what allows them to blend in and camouflage to their environment and help them stay safe from each other. So we might see if we can get a better look at it from there. <laughs> she is quite shy as well. Now, this bird, she does spend all of her time on the ground, and she's also going to look for all of her food on the ground as well. They do mainly eat different insects. They will eat smaller mammals and even some lizards as well. There she is. That's a great shot of her hiding right there. You can see those spotted feathers. Now, with being a brown bird, that means they also build their nest and take care of their nest on the ground, but it makes them very vulnerable to all of their predators. So we're going to give her a little bit more space. And you guys can get a great shot of her there. And when they do have their nest down on the ground, again, they're very vulnerable to a lot of different predators. So they come up with this very unique behavior to use in order to keep their chicks really safe. So if they do see a predator coming towards their nest, they're going to fake an injury. So they're gonna pretend that maybe their leg's broken, maybe their wing's broken, and that's gonna tell the predator, I'm more of an easy catch if you follow me instead. So the predator's gonna follow them, they're gonna lower them away from their nest, and as soon as they feel like the predator is not close enough to their nest, they no longer have an injury, and then they're able to run away into the brush safely back to their nest, keeping them and their babies safe. Now, so in their natural environment, they do spend all their time on the ground, and here in this habitat, she tends to do the same thing. So when you do get to come back and visit us, make sure you look out on the ground for her. She's going to be walking around, sometimes going into the pond, but mostly camouflaging like you saw her in the first place. And this guy definitely wants to steal the attention now. And it is your turn. So I want to kind of come up to this middle layer in this exhibit here. And you'll notice quite a bit more perching starting to happen. That's because these are birds that are going to be using the perching, but also using the ground as well. So these are red filled hornbills. So this is our male here. We do have a female. Our female is going to be back there. She'll come out and get to me. And this bird might look really familiar to you because this is Zazu in the lion cages. And one of their main characteristics is going to be that really long red curved bill. Now, this bird does spend most of the time, again, on the ground, but they will go up into the trees to roost the nest at night. And that bill is what's going to help them find all of the food down on the ground. So as they're hunting and looking for food, that bill's going to sit back and forth in the dirt and the leaves, and it's going to help them find all different types of insects and even fruit. Now, with these guys during breeding, they use that bill again. And what these guys do when they build and lay their eggs, 
There you go. <laughs> is they will lay about three to six eggs in their nest. And then what they do is they create this really hard cement-like substance. It's made out of different dirt, even their poop, and sometimes their fruit droppings. And what they do is they encase themselves inside of a cavity. So they're completely closed off with their eggs. And there's only this little tiny hole that the male, oh, he's giving you guys a close-up there. <laughs> he's very interested. And there's only a tiny hole left in that wall that the male will come and deliver food to the female. Now, once the chicks start to grow inside that nest, there's not going to be much room left for her to be in there as well. So she uses that beak to pound through that wall where she can exit, and then she will seal it back up, allowing those chicks to stay safe. And then when they're ready to exit as well, she'll break that wall down again using that beak. Now, these birds, in their natural habitat, they do spend most of their time hunting on the ground, sometimes going up into the trees. And that's, again, exactly how they spend their time here at the zoo. <laughs> if you do get to come back and visit us, when you do, make sure you look down on the ground. They love to hop around throughout the day and sift through the mulch to find all different types of bugs. Now, yes, we're going to move on. You got your turn. <laughs> We're going to move on up to the highest level in the exhibit here. You might have seen some blue birds flying around. So these are going to be our blue-bellied rollers. And in their natural environment, they do spend a lot of their time higher up in the trees, about 10 meters off the ground. And they love to sit up high. And what they're going to do throughout the day is just scan the environment below them. So they're constantly looking around. And these guys have incredible flight, so what they're looking for are actually flying insects. And they use their incredible flight to pinpoint exactly where that insect is, fly down, and snatch it right out of the air. Now, another thing they use their incredible flight for is during the breeding season. So these guys do very acrobatic flights with each other. And when they're breeding and they're trying to find a mate, they first start off by doing this really loud call. Then they can do these nose dives, flying through the air, straight to the ground. And they also do this really pretty rolling behavior. And that's how they got their name, the Blue Belly, the Roller. And that attracts mates for them. Now, once they do find a mate, when they go to build their nest, again, it's going to be really high up in the tree. So we're going to find a cavity to make their nest in. And one really cool environmental factor that they benefit from, that they've realized they can get a good meal from it, is when there's a brush fire. So when a fire happens, they're going to be sitting high up in the trees outside of the fire's range. And then they're going to start to notice all these insects flying out of the fire trying to escape. And that's when they take their chance, fly down, and catch all those insects right above the fire. Now, this bird in their natural habitat, they spend most of their time higher up in the trees. So when you guys get to come back, make sure you look up in this exhibit. That's where you're mainly going to find them. Now, knowing that the natural history of all these animals is what allows us to make their habitats unique to each animal and each habitat that we have here. And knowing that each of these needed a different layer to live in, that's how we were able to design it here. And it's really cool to see that their life here at the zoo allows them to mirror the behaviors that they would normally do in the world. Now, we have talked a lot about the cool behaviors that they do so I wanted to show some of them off and we do have the red-billed hornbills they love to forage down on the ground for their worms so we do have some worms for them here and we're going to show off that for you hopefully the male and female will come down for us we're just going to sprinkle some worms down on the ground here we're going to see if they get down kind of use that bill like we were talking about to find their worms down <laughs> you can go get them bud <laughs> He's not used to having a camera in here with him. The female's looking, you can see they're constantly looking down at the ground, they're thinking about it. Oh, there goes a blue bellied roller, he's gonna take the chance, <laughs> go get some worms. And as we're watching them forage today, we do, I think, believe have some questions coming through, possibly. If you guys do have questions, feel free to ask us some questions. <laughs> so it looks like our video is freezing, so we'll be sure to download it 
when when we get back to the office so that it's better quality and you can see it later. Uh, thank you for supporting me too. And we hear you that the video is freezing. Okay, we do hear that the video is freezing a little bit. Sometimes the internet doesn't always reach where we are at the zoo, unfortunately. So we will again, we'll upload this later for you to be able to watch it again. So don't worry, you'll get to see all the cute birds later. We are gonna see if we can get some of them to fly around here. There we go. You can see they are incredible flyers, very fast. Well, <laughs> they don't always catch them. <laughs> Ready? Ready? Here we go. You can see that beautiful light blue color underneath their wings as they're flying around. Did we have any questions about the birds here today? Uh, pretty much just that the video keeps freezing okay. and it's hard to hear over the water. Okay. All right, well, thank you guys so much for tuning in today at the Zoo to you. We're sorry about the fun noise kind of taking over, but hopefully when we upload it later, later, you'll be able to hear it better. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time.